We had a chance this week to check in on celebrity chef Tyler Florence. You've seen him on the Food Network for years. He's cooked on the Today Show, the Tonight Show. He's cooked for Oprah. He's uh, opening three new restaurants this year, and he's coming out with a new cookbook, too. So he's a very, very busy guy. He's a true celebrity chef. Here's our interview with Chef Tyler Florence. What's going on today? Um, lots of fun stuff. I'm making uh, pulled pork barbecue, dude. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, sure, sure. I'll be happy to. So, um, you know, when, uh, when, when it, it's the, the weeknight and, and you've got lots of things going on, you just got home from work, and you're in between homework and basketball practice, a really great meal uh, that you can have hot and ready to go is something you can think about in a crock pot. I absolutely love it. So if, if, uh, if, you, if you love the flavors of barbecue, you're really going to like this. This is my pulled pork sandwich. Something you can start off in the morning. You take a three-pound piece of pork shoulder, season up a little bit of uh, smoky paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, put in the bottom of a crock pot, tiny touch of water. You turn it on, put the lid on, you're gone all day, you come home, the house smells fantastic. And then it just falls apart with a fork. It's really delicious, really soft. And then you get this fantastic barbecue that your teenagers are going to tear through and it's going to give them a, you know, a full stomach. So if they're on their way to basketball practice, they're going to have something hot and ready to roll. Right. Uh, and now, a decorated chef like you cooks in a crock pot? You know what? You, you know, the, the, the great thing about a crock pot, I, mean, I got to tell you, um, uh, I own three restaurants in Northern California, and we make really wonderful uh, haute cuisine, but it's sort of a different conversation when you're talking about good, hardworking folks who want to get dinner on the table. Sure. So it's not necessarily about foie gras and truffles every night. It's about things that people can make at home, which is really great. And that's what I like about this, because you get to top it off a little bit of... of coleslaw from the Carolinas. We like a, bit of, a little bit of coleslaw on top of our sandwich. And then also what I like, Bill, is the idea of, of great side dishes, uh, which are always like ready to go and super available. Uh, I just partnered up with Alexia Foods this year. And, and if you go to the freezer section at the grocery store, they've got amazing uh, gourmet-inspired side dishes. My kids love their sweet potato fries. And uh, they've got all natural products. They've got organic products. And uh, they go from the freezer to the oven, straight to the table in 20 minutes. And they're actually super delicious, really consistent. So you know uh, good and well when you get home from work, you're going to have something on the table that's hot, that's nutritious, your kids are going to love. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I was looking at some of your, uh, your tips, and one I really liked that I hadn't really heard much about was the idea of buying fresh herbs in bulk and drying them on your own in your, in your own microwave. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's absolutely possible because you, you, if, you, if, you, uh, um, if you have any fresh herbs left over, you can absolutely uh, dehydrate them in the microwave and just kind of save them in a sandwich bag. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea. Yeah. What else um, can you talk about as far as uh, this time of year, good ideas for, for, uh, for meals? You know what, um, um, what, 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 what would you like to talk about? Any, anything in the specifically you want to get to? Like, like you want to know how to roast a chicken or you want to know how to like, cook pork chops or anything uh, that's specific about that? Or what, what do you like? Uh, yeah, like, roast no? chicken sounds good. Yeah, so so to me, like a really great roasted chicken. So it's all about it's all about um, um, making sure that the the chicken is, is is trussed and compressed to the shape of say a football. Um, it cooks very evenly, and that way that that the the breast and the legs and the thigh all kind of cook at the same time. Uh, and it's also a, a great um, idea as far as uh, cooking a chicken is, is uh, seasoning it from the inside out as well as the outside in. And that means uh, stuffing the cavity with lemon, uh, herbs, garlic, uh, salt, and pepper, and then tying the chicken. Um, uh, tying the wings and, and the legs together uh, so it's all kind of one big shape in the oven 400 degrees one hour flat uh, or until internal temperature uh, uh, is 160 degrees with an instant read thermometer and uh, you've got a really great classic you can also kind of halfway through that process kind of fill up the bottom uh, with uh, some great uh, great uh, vegetables and, and potatoes and things like that so when you take it out of the oven you've got the chicken and a side dish all ready to roll sounds great talking a little bit about yourself now what What's your favorite part of your career now? You I mean you have so much going on with the restaurants and the TV appearances and the cooking shows and what do you like to do best? Um, you, you know what? We're 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 in this we're in this wonderful growth period right now, uh, which uh, which I, I'm I'm so proud of. We just so we're about to open our third restaurant 
in six months. Uh, our first restaurant opened up last June uh, in, in um, San Francisco uh, called Wayfair Tavern, and it's in the old uh, former Rubicon space uh, in, the, in the financial district just underneath the Transamerica Tower. And then we opened up our second restaurant about, uh, about th uh, three months ago uh, called Rotisserie and Wine. It's right in the heart of the wine country, and it's, uh, it's turned out to be a winemaker's hangout every night. It's really uh, rootsy, simple roasted cooking. And then we're opening up a steakhouse in uh, downtown Mill Valley, uh, which is just across the Golden Gate Bridge, and uh, it's going to open up about three weeks. And uh, we've already got our beef kind of aging in a dry room, uh, which so we're, everybody's kind of geeking out on that right now, uh, which we're really excited about. It's going to be the best steakhouse on the West Coast of the United States. It's going to be delicious. Wow. And, uh, and I just started making wine with Michael Mondavi this year. Uh, our new Sauvignon Blanc just scored a 90 in Wine Enthusiast magazine. Uh, so we're making wine scoring. We're really happy about that. Um, I just wrote uh, my, my eighth cookbook uh, called Start Fresh, which will be out at Mother's Day. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a recipe with 60 unbelievable recipes that uh, that teach parents how to feed their newborns uh, uh, infants babies and toddlers from the very very beginning uh, the most nutritious and densely uh, flavored food is possible uh, to really kind of get their kids off to a fresh start so they can start fresh and uh, and and we've got uh, our second season of great food truck race coming up on Food Network this year and uh, that's we're gonna start shooting that in uh, in May April to May and we're going from New York City to San Francisco this year, so that's going to be, I'm sure, madcap fun. And that's going to air uh, right after the finale of uh, Next Food Network Star coming up in August, so it's kind of fun. And, uh, and I just shot um, uh, uh, Next Food Network Star with, uh, with Bobby and Giada in Los Angeles last week, so that's kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, we're just we're loving it. We're, we're, just, we're growing like crazy, and uh, we're having a good time doing it. Man, you are a busy man. We are busy. You know, you were talking about infants there a little while ago, infant and kids. I know you came out with a line of vape baby food a while back. Are you, are you still involved in that? I sure am. Uh, so we, we started our, our baby food company, a uh, certified organic baby food company called Sprout. And uh, we, we started about seven years ago, and uh, we just made it to market. We raised $21 million. Uh, we, we, uh, we, we just uh, went to market about two years ago with a product. Uh, we're the fourth largest baby food in the United States right now, and I don't think anybody can touch our flavor. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's really about um, like densely nutritious, fantastic, fresh-flavored vegetables and fruits and vegetables uh, from the very, very beginning with children. And, uh, and you, what you do is you create vegetable fans uh, by giving kids uh, unbelievable fresh flavors from the very beginning. And where is that available? Uh, it's available coast to coast. Uh, we're, we're available everywhere from Whole Foods to Walmart. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, that sounds like you've got a lot on your plate right now. <laughs> That's right. And it sounds like you're having fun. You got it. Do you ever get to rest at all? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I, I sleep from midnight to 5 a.m., and uh, I try to go to the gym every day, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll be 40 in two weeks, so I, I'm just having the time of my life. All right. Well, happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks a lot, Bill. All righty. Bye-bye.